Hi everyone, in today's video I thought I would share with you how I drew this little downy woodpecker using just two regular ballpoint pens. It's a really fun technique to do. Let's get started. So um, what I've done is I've sketched out a little um, downy woodpecker um, and I've transferred it to my drawing paper and then I'm going to be using my black and my red ballpoint pens. Just regular old ballpoint pen, not an ink pen, not a marker, just a regular ballpoint pen that you would sign any document with. Um, I'm going to be starting with the eye. Um, I like, always like to start my drawings with the eye when I do birds, because I figure that way if I mess up the eye, I've messed up everything. So I'm going to just use my black pen. And I'm using techniques similar to the way that I draw with um, colored pencil, um, meaning that, so little things kind of like that. Uh, you can also use little circles that overlap on themselves and that will color in an area. You can also use dots and the more you press down the darker the dot is the less you press down the lighter. And that goes with anything. You can make very fine lines. So now that I have my little eye, um, and you can always go back over things and make them darker, I'm going to work on the beak and I'm going to start with very light pressure as I work on the beak because I don't want to go too dark too fast. I'm going to have the center line be a little bit darker and then underneath the bottom part of his beak I'm going to have it be darker too. If you notice I left a little white space. Uh, the thing with ink is you have to plan so our downy woodpecker, he has a white area um, here, and he has a white area here, and then his chest is white, and then he has some white patches on his uh, wings. So we have to make sure we plan where we're going with our, our pen. Um, you cannot erase with ballpoint, so just be careful. If you happen to have a pen that um, blobs at the end, um, you can just get a tissue and dab your pen on the tissue and it will um, r remove that excess blobby ink so you don't get a splotch. So now that I have the eye and the beak, I'm going to start working on his little head. And you want to make your pen marks go in the direction that feathers, hair, or fur grow. In our case, we have a bird, so we have feathers, and his feathers start at his beak and they move to the back of his head. They all go to the back, and then when we get down here in his chest, they're going to go from his beak downward. Same thing on his wings, they're going to go from kind of the top of his head down. Um, this just helps reinforce the form of the bird and keeps it looking, you know, a little more realistic. Um, a lot of people don't realize that you can uh, create really nice pieces of art with a ballpoint pen. Most people think of it as, you know, the thing you do to pass time while you're chatting on the phone or you're supposed to be paying attention in a meeting. And you notice I'm making little strokes and I'm, I'm not starting them in the exact same spot. I am kind of, you know, I have some that start here, some that start further back. So I'm, I'm trying to layer them all. And I don't want to put too many right here because that's where the red is. Because the downy woodpecker, the male has a nice red patch. So that's where our red pen is going to come in. If you don't have a red pen, um, you can still just keep going with the black and that will be a female bird. Now before I get too far, I'm gonna put my black pen down, I'm gonna pick up my red and I'm kind of overlapping some of the red into the black because 
the lines don't stop and start. You don't want a hard, you know, I don't want, I don't want a line like, like that where you can see where I've started and stopped. You want a nice kind of transition because in real life the feathers do that. So now that I have a little bit of red, I'll go back in with my black. And you can layer this. So this is kind of like colored pencil where you layer color. But instead of using pencil, we're using pen. So I have this white patch here. Um, what I'm going to do is move some of the feathers. So I'm going to start them here and I'm going to curve them down a little bit because I want to break up this hard edge. You can go the other way too, is it? I want him to look somewhat realistic. And I'm gonna leave some space around his eye. And if it's easier for you to turn your paper, you can turn your paper. Um, I do that a lot. I'll turn my paper around, makes it easier for you. I'm right-handed, so my wrist has a natural bend in one direction versus the other, and it's harder to do things completely straight on. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this kind of back and forth motion. I'm doing one stroke at a time. Right now, I've been applying pretty much the same amount of pressure on my pen, but what I want to do is, I don't want this, you know, white patches to be so solid white. So what I'm going to do is with very, very light pressure on my pen, I'm just going to make a few little lines just to break up that white so it's not so, so solid. Because on a, on a bird, it wouldn't be just solid. You would see feathers that overlap and the overlapping would cause shadows. So that's all we're trying to do is just simulate the little shadowy bits. So my my little downy here has um, these little, almost like a little uh, chin of dark feathers. So we'll give him some here. And I'm just gonna very lightly go around the edge of him. He is white on white paper, so I have to actually give him some sort of a shape. And I'm just using very light lines. I've left the lines on my initial underdrawing that I did in pencil a little bit darker than I normally would, um, and that's so that you can kind of follow along with me. Um, when I'm done with this, I will take um, a kneaded eraser and I'll go over my lines to lighten them even more because I don't want my pencil lines stuck underneath. They have little white splotches on their wings. So for the moment, I'm going to outline a couple of little squares here and there just to show off some of these white patches. When I get down to this part, I'm going to leave some space in between my strokes. I'm going to try and space them out a little bit farther than I normally would. So that way I can create the edge of his uh, wing feathers here because they actually do have uh, white lines. I have tail feathers that come up under here, so I'm going to push pretty firmly because what I want to show is that this group of feathers is above this group. So I want the things underneath to be darker. And now I have a little patch of white here on this, so I'm going to work in between and I'm going to make this really dark so I'm using little circles 
to make this a little more solid and just getting rid of some of the extra white space in between a lot of these. So there you have it, a fun, quick way to do a cute little bird drawing using just a couple of ballpoint pens. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.